Excuse me. Well, let's go ahead and call the meeting to order then. That way we can get it going and coming in and start with our pledge. And then Commissioner Pat, if you'll do our prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we come before you again to ask your continued blessings upon this body as we consider the business of this city. Bless us with compassion and patience and knowledge to make the best decision for our citizens that they may have a peaceful and comfortable life. Father, we ask you to continue to bless Brother Jim Crump as he has been proving, but ask, pray, Father, you bless him and continue good health that his health may be 100%. Go with us now, Father, all through life. Forgive us for we fail thee. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Welcome everybody out tonight. And oh. okay. uh, first item of business is the approval of minutes. Make a motion to go ahead. I'll second it. All right, we got it. Okay, we have a motion and second. Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Next item is the approval pain of the bills. Move pray out, pay all bills. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, no old business, so right on new business, appoint members of the wastewater board. Bob Cox and Lonnie Halls are the representatives for the city of Beaverdam on the Ohio County Regional Wastewater Board, and they are both willing to serve another term. Good. So, make a motion that's okay. Those two. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Now, I will say they've done a very good job yeah. representing the city of Beaver Dam, so happy to have them on board like that. Okay, next item of business is farmers market grants. Okay. It can't take you very long. We got ball games. Yeah, I know we've been Everybody's got this. Actually, this is the same letter that y'all have, just with the date changes. And it's we need permission to write grants to CFA. That's Community Farm Alliance. Um, for our double dollars grant, market manager support grant, and advertising grant. That's the maximum I have on here uh, if we received all the grants. We didn't, we never received all the maximum. Uh, that would be the matches. I think this year, uh, with that figure on there, right around 2,100 is what uh, the city has to match on that. Um, and these grants won't become active until July 1, which will be the next fiscal year. Um, even though we might get them with we hold on to them until the next fiscal year, July 1. Just a little bit about the market. We had our second um, strongest sales here this year. We did have double dollars. Uh, um, I'm not even going to all the program, but we serve, we're able to serve about 90 seniors and about 40 WIC participants, about 130 families that helped uh, participate in that. Had about 6,200 customers. We had to keep customer counts at the market this year. Um, that's not counting. Our farm to table, which we had the biggest one we had, 250 out of the high school, some of y'all were there. That had the largest one we had. And our kids' day was the largest one we had, too. We had community partners on that, the hospital felt partner with that, uh, tourism, and the extension office. So if you were down there on kids' day, it was packed house again. Right. So, uh, and everything went pretty well. That one person was kind of just running about the ice cream, but we reached out to them. But they didn't reach back, so we just left it at that. So. Um, You're not doing anything right if you don't have somebody that's disgruntled. Well, I thought one out of 1,500 went too bad. So. Uh, but I um, want to thank the city for the support and uh, everybody in the city for all they've done. Uh, we had a good year last year, expect a good year this year. Um, we're going to kind of transition, training some younger ones in some jobs. We're, we're not going to work, I plan on this year. We're going to kind of transition, get some younger folks um, transitioned in how to run the market and how the grants go and, and how we operate. So we want to thank everybody for that and I'll stop with Bobby before I start here. <laughs> but if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so entertain a motion to uh, approve allowing the farmer's market to apply for these three grants. I make a motion we approve the farmer's market. I'll second it. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Jill, do you have a copy of the letter? Okay. Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. 
motion passes. Larry, you have anything to bring in? Christmas lights. We're going to buy some. Do you want some right shots there now? I think I've got a thing in my mailbox that came today. Okay. okay. It looks so pretty. I hated to see those come down. The ones around the poles. Oh. It looks so pretty. <laughs> I had more comments from people on the lights and the greenery on the poles. Really than good. anything we've had in a long, long time. I think time. we should go farther up the street with the poles. Well, if we're getting ready to use that's going to save some money. <laughs> However, I do want to see lights on the... Of course, we still have greenery up right there, too, yeah. by the way. Okay. And down on the patio. But I'd like to see lights on those greenery, too. Mm -hmm. and I want the lights on the corner fixed. Do we have, I don't know if we have an outside receptacle right here. I'll check and see. We can make one. <laughs> we'll look at it. Is that all? So you think yeah. were we thinking were we gonna order more of like the snowflake lights? We had we had one snowflake damage here too. The new one. I know one was. Yeah. He had to be working to do that too. They had to get over his, his big truck. Yeah. They had to get over the far right side just to hit it. I mean, I told Trey for uh, they'd almost had been on the curb. I think they're really proving. I'd like to get something different than the snowflakes this time because they won't put my Santas back up anymore. So. <laughs> All the Santas, none of the Santas are working on it. No, I I think they worked last year. I don't know how they didn't work this year. Can we put, <laughs> can we put Shelby looking at that? So maybe coming up with something to. Well, if Paul's got to book at something, y'all need to pick out. Okay. Well, we can. We need the yeah. ones with the hangers. The hangers come with us. Yeah, but those old hangers, the, that's why they're all falling over. So the new the hangers do come with them? Yes. So it's just a matter of when the new ones come in to replace the hangers? Correct. Did we replace the hangers with new ones this time when the snow flakes come? Really? Yeah, 15. Yeah. Because we're down a whole bunch, aren't we? Because there was none out well, by. The problem is all these poles are replacing the old hangers. Okay, when, when Groves or companies come in and replace the poles or KU, they don't wire the plug-ins back up, come down the poles. And some of the ones on the south of the town don't work. I called KU and said, I had a lease here called KU or Energy. They said they were getting fixed. Maybe remember this summer, call them again before it gets too late in the year where they can get them fixed. Yeah, because it's definitely a bit noticeable the northern end was really weak on it compared to the south. There wasn't any up north, was there? That's what I'm saying. They're very noticeable. <laughs> I don't suppose today on the south end of town they've got an orange tape around them. And it looks like, again, I'm assuming can you six to replace all the poles. So we need to make sure to stay on top of them to get the receptacle back on. It looks like they're changing from this railroad track all the way to the church. But some of them on the south end, the fishes don't work. Does KU give you any problem about putting receptacles on them? They never have the flat fee. I mean, they do it for all cities everywhere. I don't know why they would. And we pay a flat fee for my form, so. Okay. Okay, do you have anything else? No. Jim, do you have anything? Yeah, uh, Jennifer Phelps on her, they've got a rental house up here that they had about seven, eight months. They had to go to court to get the renter out of it. And, uh, from what I understand, the uh, it was it, he had had the pipe, so the water turned off since about May, Mar March or May, March of 22. And uh, for some reason, when it was turned back on, we, we didn't read the meter when we turned it back on, and they had about 18,000 gallons of water. But I had a uh, had Larry and Jill to let her his face. She had her name put on it in November. Had her had just had her to pay two months of minimum because we didn't read the meter when we when we put it back. Well, but the meter shouldn't have been any different than when we turned well, it off. The thing about it, if he could steal seven, eight months rent from her, he it's no doubt in my mind he could steal water from us. And that was kind of when you and I talked about it. Some, you know, do we know somebody helping yeah, I mean, themselves too? We've had it happen before. I mean, I'm, uh, we still picked up uh, 
it was over what, 300, 300 and some odd dollars, and then the 340, I think. Yeah. So I had them give her two months of minimum, $53 a month, $106 and some odd cents. Uh, because even if we have it, even if we turn one off that length of time, we do need to read it when somebody has to put in their name just to make sure something hasn't happened. So what, what do we do if we have landlords do this? If somebody moves out, they'll, they'll call them to shut the water off. The landlords go in and clean the house. Most landlords have a rinse turn it on. They'll turn the water on to clean the house and then turn it back on. So there, there, there may be a difference in that reading. What do we do with them gallons? Well, I mean, I talked to her about that too, and, and under our new rulings, I mean, they would be liable for it anyway. Yeah, so I, but uh, I felt like that, in my opinion, that was a fair thing to do. And after I talked to you, Larry, were you able to get up there and read it and see if there Did was a leak or anything going on? Yeah, I don't but it wasn't. Well, I, and don't quote me on this or go home to it, but I, I think when, when Jennifer had called me, she had made a comment that when their uh, crew was up there to start remodeling, I, I want to say they, they turned it back on again. So see, that's the problem we have is, is other people turn them on. So she didn't tell me that. You know, that I didn't get in our conversation either, which would probably, if it had, if I would question it a little bit further, but I took what I had talked to you about and what I talked to Jill about and what I had talked to her about when I made the decision to do that. Yeah. I just want you guys to know if there's any discrepancy, that's that's my fault. I did that. I think anytime we turn them off, we just need to lock them out. That there we couldn't, that's an expansion joint. Pull the meter. You know, I'm, I'm getting tired. Everybody thinks it's no big deal. Oh, it's just the city. We just take their water. But all these other people who live in the city are paying that. Yeah. But what, I'm, what I believe happened from what Jennifer told me, unless she lied to me, uh, and I don't know if she would or wouldn't, I know she was good dealing with me on a couple of other issues I'd had with my... That... Uh, I don't doubt that the gentleman that was there didn't steal water from us. And we've got no way of proving it one way or the other now. Now, if we could say differently, then I'd say, let's go for it. But at that point, we couldn't. So, Well, that's something else we need to watch, because technically, according to our ordinances, you can't live in a house and not have water. Well... I think that she, they talk, she told me, if I'm not mistaken, they would. Finally, when they finally went to court, it was still 30, 30 days plus before it could get him out because of, he was claiming he had his invalid mother living with him. See, a lot of 2022, when the water shut off, he was actually in jail, wasn't he? I don't even know who it was. He told me his name was James something, but I didn't even know who it was. And uh, he's in jail now. If I understand right. It sort of seems like we've got stuff in place now to prevent things like this from happening again. Yeah, I think we're in better shape now about it. And I, if we can't lock them off, I agree with you. We ought to pull them either. But, uh, because people just don't need to really, really just go, like, oh, I'm going to turn the water on. So, I mean, it is a landlord, even. Yeah, well, you have. They turn it on clean, they need to turn it on. Well, but you have, I know we have landlords that come in when it goes out of a renter's name, it, they want it back into their name and they pay the bill. But you have those that don't want to pay any bills that they don't feel they owe, yeah. so they won't have it put in their name, so they don't have to pay it. But they think they should turn the water on to clean houses and everything else. Well, I was under the impression, and she didn't tell me that. I got to admit that, but I was under the impression that uh, she uh, that they was around the last of October, whenever 
getting him out of there, and that was through a court order. Actually, the sheriff had to escort him off the property, from what I understand. So, uh, you know. is that a suggestion you make, or have you already told her that? I told her that we would do that for her. Well, because we have an ordinance form that we can't do that, we have to make a motion in a second that has to pass on this commission. Because we have to have it in our minutes. Because that's going in against an ordinance. Well, I'll make that motion to get to the defense of this. No, second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I think we really need to look in the future about having it stuff about law. Locking the meters or pulling them. Yeah, I'll ask for an ordinance form what we have to do to, to keep this from happening again. Well, I think this we. Is, this has come up several times fairly recently, and I don't, I don't think there's any question of the actual law is from that with regard to the landowner's responsibility as well as the tenants. But, Call. But what will we do if we lock the meter when we bet them close it out? Or make the landlord pay the bill before we turn well, the water back on. we passed the rule this yeah. last year yeah. about that? I thought we did, but it's not, it's not going very far. Well, that one wouldn't fall under it, though, really. When, 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 was, that, when was that order made? It was sometime last year. Last year. Yeah. Yeah. So we shut the water off. In 2022. Which is different. So, no. If we shut the water off 2022 and the ordinance is passed in 2023, she's responsible. Yeah. According to the ordinance. That's why we had to do this in the form of a motion to bypass it. But we still need to look at that old ordinance and see what we can do about it. But if we shut it off, heading this off. Prior to the just ordinance, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Well, the, the argument always is that the tenant's responsible. That's not not just in this case, it's that, it's that right. way every time. Right. It's the tenant's responsibility. But, but and, and y'all can take the position that it's the tenant's responsibility. But I think we took the opposite position. We did. We took it that it's the property owner's responsibility. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, so, you know, as long as it, it, the mayor's right, that if you're going to say something to the contrary, yeah, he's, he's got to have a motion. Carry on. Oh, I'm good. We're going into closed session, are we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Charles? Far as I know, David and Mike have not told me that, so we're in good shape. Mm -hmm. Kevin? I'm going to make a motion that we uh, add Chaz Mo. I guess it's, is it, is it the, uh, are, you sleeping? are you sleeping warehouse? Is going to be put in up there? And they're asking for a to put the city sewer onto their building, and they're going to have county water. Apparently, that's the way it works out there. Well, it, it is. This is a piece of property Jason Chin wanted to take out of the city and put in the county. Since then, he has sold property. So, do we ask them to be annexed? So they are out of the city. I thought they were. I thought they were still well, in. We the need city. to annex them first. Jason Chin asked to be taken out of the city, thirty acres or whatever, and now he sold the property. So Where is the property? We need right to that first. Like right beside, behind her old building. That's the, how many units he got out there? And he's building a new warehouse is what yeah, I was talking about. Big, huge. Well, it needs to be annexed. Yeah. If he's actually annexed, that's a simple process, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that... The conversation's got confused. Is okay, it, they're building it a new one. Is in the city? No, it no. was, and they took it out of the city, and now it's being... They want to put it... They want to use the city water. Well, if they're city sewers, so if they do that, we have to annex them back into the city. It's out there by stairs, like when it was taken out of. It's up on behind or her right house. Right. Or yeah, right behind the stairs. Behind, well, it's behind the other warehouse. It's behind the other warehouse. Oh, Jason Chin took it out. I don't know when it was taken out. It's oh. right behind on that side. When, when did we Technology when did we take right. that out? I thought okay. we took out was up on top of the hill behind. Uh, the Star Trek right there. But where's the warehouse being built? When you're going to Technology Drive, as soon as you pass the fence, it's the next property on the left. And is that that definitely was taken out of the city? Yes. When? Three or four years ago? No, it's been longer than that. It's been longer than that? It's been two years. Do we have a description of the track? Yeah, we can get it, yeah. 
Is it is it is it just the track that was previously in the city, no. or is it now more? It's a smaller piece. Yeah, they sold part piece. of it. Yeah. You're gonna. He's gonna have to survey bring. It. He's gonna have to survey it and bring it to us if he wants to. Do it. Well, he would have had it surveyed yeah. when they bought it. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be easy. That that yeah. dimension that will be easy to get because they just bought it. That track off of a bigger track, so they would have a. Something yeah. They would have a description. Yeah, so they'd have a description. You bring it down to you. Okay. You take care of that, and, and, then, and, then pass, and then pass the motion stuff to Alex. We have a call meeting. We can do that. If you don't do it, it's yeah, fine. we can have a special call meeting if they need to, right? And so they're building a larger warehouse? There's like 200 behind That sounds good. Yeah. Oh, it's not like that. Oh, it's not like that. Oh, it's not like that. Anything else, Kevin? Kevin's all you got? I'm done. Okay, I got one thing that will entertain. Well, I got uh, Thursday night. The, the judge executive every year always does in January, does a thing with the mayors. They have all of them get together, the six mayors and the judge get together and just talk about plans and projects and history and future and all that kind of stuff. Well, this year uh, the judge has opened it up and has invited all of the council members or commission members from all the cities. And I talked to Ann today and no one from Beaver Dam has uh, called to say if they were going or not. Oh, Ann told me I was the only one. No. Nope. When did you talk to her today? No, I didn't talk to her. I oh. talked to, to Judge Johnson. Okay. Well, my grandson playing basketball. I'm sorry. I, okay. He takes precedence. Well, yeah. No, no, that's, it's, but it's Thursday at 5.30. And I told him. I thought it was 6 o'clock. I thought it was 6 o'clock when it started. Because that made me win the game. You're late. He said six o'clock. Five thirty is what Ann told me today. If you get there five thirty, be fine. Yeah. He left me a voicemail. So I, I just told Ann I, we had a meeting tonight. I'd remind everybody. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm already in, so I know. Okay. Well, she called and asked me your phone number today. Is why I figured you talked to her today. You know the wrong person. You need to keep it. No, I talked. I don't know. I guess. Uh, John's I don't know. Really I don't know. I don't <laughs> he probably won't. Mike, Tommy, y'all. Um, not really sure who's. I think Jill. Okay, entertain a motion to go into closed session. Wait, John. I, said, okay. I, got, I, got oh, I got a comment. Real quick. Thank you all for the grand bend down tomorrow. It looks really good. Black top. Great job. Excuse me. Thank you for the new fans down there. Get the school. They were much better. And the bathrooms are wonderful since I, I don't know what the ladies volunteer. I don't know what to do with it. We've got a lady that comes in and they walk here about every morning. Oh, yeah. Three times a week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, what, I'm telling you what, since they have been on, they all. That's, I mean, That's good to hear. The back, yeah, they they have get those bathrooms responses very much. So that's all I want to say. Thank, thank okay. you. Mention those. I forgot to mention those things. For you. We'll go to close session. Second. Yeah, he told me six o'clock. Yeah. You heard me say no something one, I had no never one, heard. Hey, Luke, go back and open session. Nobody would believe the Lord would do anything other than that. Right. Right. Yeah. Say second. Second. Kevin said, I don't have a comment. <laughs> <laughs> nobody else. Nobody else followed. Yeah, he. I did say something. Did you make a comment? What? And you said, when they have the minister, ask her to pay. Oh. No, we didn't. Um, I hadn't started yet. Yeah, we we, we sorry yeah. moved to go back to the session. What time is it starting? I thought it starts in about 10 minutes. Right? It's about, about time to start right now. Okay, we're in open set. One thing we need to do real quick. Uh, Larry, I'm going to let you explain. Yeah, Charles made a motion to like an open and get a second. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I did. Right. Uh, we had a, a business that had closed down. They left only a $500 uh, water bill and wrote a tow check. So we come out of our account automatically. We contacted Robin, uh, one of our auditors, uh, and she said to reach out to the person, see if they would make a $10 or $20 a month payment to get it resolved. And she said that needed to be in a minute that we're going to allow that. Fair enough to me. Do we need to name the client, maybe? You're going to have to repeat it. Do we need to, do we need to name who we're going to allow to do this? In a five hundred dollar bill that they left and left it delinquent. Code check. And we were gonna make them pay ten to twenty dollars. No, well, wait they a minute, wrote they, a they wrote a code check yeah, first. Well <laughs> you wanna make sure to get them you a code check is uh, is a criminal offense. Mike's already taking care of his, but it should finish it tomorrow. 
Yeah. But but Robin with with uh, our auditor asked if we could just reach out to her and see see if she would make a ten or fifteen or twenty dollar payment every month. And she wanted it in, in the minutes. Well, if that's acceptable to the commission, it, it's is it on a water bill? Is yes. Yes. I'd say fifty dollar payment. Okay. Goes to the court, it's going to be up and whatever. Judge said, What can you pay? Do you need to pay? Yeah. And that's the way it works, right? That can work that way, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. it, it, is, is, it, it, is this person getting water? No. No. This is now a cutoff. It, it is. It was a business, not an individual. Going to the business. Yes. But she has somebody signed individually on behalf of the business. Somebody yes. Huh? Somebody yes. The, but water the deposit got taken up with whatever was left, but this was the last check they wrote before they shut down. So there's nothing left in the deposit. Correct. How much is our deposit? On a business, I think, or on a restaurant, I think it's 300. It's what? 300. And that's already gone? Yes. And, and you're still fighting. Right. Well, there wouldn't have been except she wrote a code check. Right. <laughs> See, we thought we had everything balanced out. So before the, the insufficient funds, what was the charge? $507. So it was $500. So see, when, when the code check turned up in the bank, the bank automatically took that out of the water account. So. Or do we just let the court system take care of it and not even worry about this? Let her make an offer pay. If you don't, technically, if you don't take a warrant, complaint, criminal complaint. And what you do is negotiate with the the customer. You basically turn what would what it would be a criminal charge when somebody gives you a cold check into a civil matter in which you negotiated that they owe you five hundred dollars and this is how it's going to be paid. So so you agree to take fifty dollars and they make the first 50 and then they don't make the next nine $50 payments. And basically, the chances of you recovering it decrease significantly because this is a business and you're going to, you're going to end up trying to file some type of small claim or, or civil action against them to recover. So really the, the question for the commission is, do you, do you want to proceed with a criminal charge uh, in which they they have given you a cold check, or do you want to try to negotiate it in which it becomes a civil matter? And unless they're just going to pay it and make the payments as they're supposed to make it, you make it more a little bit more difficult for the commission to get their money because Mike's right; he will basically say, "This, how much can you pay?" But he's going to have more teeth to it. But but it's got more teeth than if you you try to negotiate okay. it yourself. Okay, never mind. That. Uh -huh. Never mind what I just said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then? We're, yeah. You're uh, a motion to adjourn. Uh, Second. Second. Second.